Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to No Holds Barred Relationship Talks. So you know who I'm here with. Y'all heading toward the pill. So you just gonna yeah. throw us out there like that and just say that's coming. So well, this is what we got to well, look Well, you know for. what? See, and you can tell when it's coming because remember I dated this doctor. And so he told me stuff scientifically oh. and you can tell when it's coming okay, when please tell when, me. Tell me when, please. when you when as a man mm -hmm. and you're still active mm -hmm. when you start to develop belly fat but you haven't changed your eating or your exercise habits mm -hmm. that means that your testosterone levels are starting to drop mm -hmm. and what happens is that starts to drop a lot sooner too so you didn't talk us something now, right? Hey, I'm just sharing the knowledge. So I'm just sharing the so, knowledge. So and when, man, I gave you the warning sign. So, so when y'all drive, what do y'all do? What you mean we drive? Oh, please. Y'all drive. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Okay, but, no, 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 no. But they make oh, stuff. Hold on. They make stuff for right, that. But you know, they got the KY explosion. You just put us out there that it's coming. We don't have to take the pill. Blah, 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 blah. But y'all do. Drive. Okay, y'all. Y'all don't feel like doing it no more. I've heard about that. Uh huh. You you probably won't get there, right? Um, you know I have a dysfunctional genetic makeup on my daddy's side of the family, so <sighs> probably not then. Pro <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but no, I don't. I don't believe that. I think it's all up here. You I really so? do. I believe that it's here. Um, I think it starts when we're young. You know, like I said, when you're 21, you ain't thinking about trying to satisfy that girl. And pretty much she's not really knowing what she needs to be done to her That's true. to be satisfied. That's so true. it's just like they're just laying there and he's going up and down, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And change of positions, whatever, mm -hmm. because she's still learning her body just like he's learning his and trying to learn hers. Mm -hmm. But really, he only know one part: up, uh, in, mm -hmm. and out. Mm -hmm. Squeeze here, mm -hmm. in and out. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much we know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I can only speak for myself. The the older you get, the more mature you become, and if you learn from your mistakes learn from the because we all have different people in our lives that we have had sexual encounters with it's very seldom it's just one person right okay it's not just one person we, right we have you know different partners different partners mm -hmm. over time yeah mm -hmm. that's a good one over time mm -hmm. um i didn't say you put in over time i said i do oh. so we'll leave that alone again so, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, is that the older you get... I just said a prayer for you. It's all good. You'll be okay. The older you get, the more mature you become. And if you allow your... If a man allows himself to learn that woman... Now, we all know that we first... Once a woman starts knowing her body. Once she knows her body, we in trouble. Hmm. Because then you can do what you need to do to your own body without us. Yeah, but that's not fun. It's not fun, but it's and it's not fun having somebody on you that don't know what he's doing either, right? That's true. So too. it's a waste of time. And so to me, not? that's why you want to do relationships because if you're going with this whole uh, new fangled booty call thing or whatever, and you're going from, you know, this one to that one to that one to that one, you're going to run into folks that don't know your body. You know, a man gets... A man is better as he knows your body, as he learns. So you're saying that a man, not cutting you off, which I do understand that. So you're saying that a man cannot know a woman's body first encounter? I think that uh, men yeah, yeah. develop their, um, their mm -hmm. they develop their own talents mm -hmm. that they may introduce to the woman. And it may give her pleasure that she didn't know she could get that way. Because, you know, that's how we learn 
by being exposed to new stuff. So we, as men, mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. give you that pleasure that first meeting, that first you time. You can't. Mm -hmm. But if you are a woman or a man that's having multiple partners, the odds are you're going to run into some lazy lovers. You know, you're going to run into that man that always wants you to be on top because he don't want to do nothing but lay there and squeeze. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now, me, I... <laughs> I don't want to put it out there, but on top is fine because I love to look at a woman's face. Mm -hmm. You can look at... You told me on the last show that you can look down oh, at her face. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Up, down. It's just... It's a wonderful thing to look at a woman's face. So you you not you not a fan of doggy style then? It's a mirror. Oh, kinky. Get a mirror. Ooh, hot mm -hmm. stuff. Grab the forehead and lift the face up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. yeah uh, so you're not just gonna grab her hair. It depends, you know. Uh, I don't want to be pulling no tracks out. Oh Lord, did he go there? Yes, I did. <laughs> No, y'all have. And then when we're done, did you actually have to pull one of those out? Now nah, I gotta go get it fixed. So right. now we gotta be real gentle. Tug here, tug there. No. If it, if you want it done, and I've met a lot of women that like to have their hair pulled. You know, it's cool. Spanked a little bit. You know, it's cool. You know. But like I said, it, but us being men. I believe that if men educate themselves more to understanding a woman's body, I think that it'd be more, this world would be so much happier. Because if a woman isn't happy, a man isn't happy. That's why all this stuff is going on out here. Well, you know what? I would like to tell the men uh, just, just one tip that I just really want to tell the men. Oh, jeez. When it comes to oral sex. Oh. You guys have to study the anatomy of the female kitty cat. Oh my goodness. Coochie, vagina, pussy. Oh, I guess I have to say the same thing. I would like to say this to the women. I wasn't done. Okay. Shut me up. There is more to that place than just the clip. Mm. And all of it has nerve endings. Did you know there's actually more nerve endings around the opening of it than there are in a clip? Mm. So, if you're one of those brothers that just sit right there. It's tiresome, doesn't it? Sometimes she not wiggling because it feels good. It, it starts to hurt because that is sensitive. Lay off it. <laughs> brothers, listen to her. She's right. She's well, I know I'm right because I own one of those things. I got the owner's manual. Just one? Just one. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know there's some that yes. have two. I didn't know that. Oh, well. I won't tell you about that, man. That's another show. That's We're going to have like a circus show? Ah, no. Because that would be a side show. No, no, no. The woman with two coochies? Stop. What? No. I was what? just joking. Oh, yeah, oh, those were jokes. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the little thing down there that said, this is joke alert. <laughs> <laughs> so you going to put that out there. So I'm going to put this out here for the ladies. Just because we ask you to go down or you want to go down, don't mean you know what you're doing. <laughs> Please. Teeth, stop. Don't do that. We don't want to feel teeth. Be better if you can take them out. Oh my, no, you didn't. I'm sure that they're probably connected to you somehow. But if you're scratching, just like y'all don't want us hitting that spot all the time, imagine scraping something up against there that's hard. Mm. Against something that's hard. It isn't fun. It really is. So what else don't y'all see? Don't like teeth. What else don't y'all like? I, I think every man is kind of different though. Yeah. I, I don't even want to put myself out there like that. So I ain't going to say. Remember, I already said it's really no big deal. 
Oh yeah, that's right, you don't. It's no big deal. So now let me ask you this. On the men's panel, one of the guys said that with men, if a woman gives it to him too quick, too soon, when he I can cut you off right there. Ejaculates. Oh. His desire to be with that woman comes right out with the ejaculation. What? And as soon as he's done, then he's no longer really interested. Hmm. Now, I was going to say, not, not, not answering your question, but I was going to say, if a woman jumps down there on me just like that, the first thing I'm thinking is, dang, that was kind of quick for her to do that. Who did she do an hour ago? Oh, That's hey. what I'm thinking. No. Because it was a <laughs> different take. Exactly. But that, to answer that question, if anything, if I get, if they bring me to that point, oh yes, I got to feel it. I got to have me some. Well, I'm saying, if, if not even I, talking I, about oral sex anymore, just talking about sex straight up. He said if a woman gives him sex, too soon within meeting her whatever when he ejaculates his desire to get to know her spend more time with her comes right out with his ejaculation i've never heard that before and i think that's the person's i think that's all in that person because you have to think about did he really want to be with her in the first place or was it just about getting his rocks off but if women are giving it up too fast, do the men really even get a chance to figure out if they actually want to be with them? They don't know anything about them, really. But if she's not giving it up at all, then they move on quicker. So what do you want us to do? I don't know that that's true. They don't necessarily move on quicker, but they will have some other stuff exactly. on the side. Exactly. But they'll still be around. Until, yeah, until they get it. Right, right. And then, like he said, it's like, I think... I guess I would have to answer that question more so saying that the longer you wait, the anticipation is greater. Now, is it going to be good when you get it? Nobody knows. Just like y'all don't know. You're hoping. Because pretty much you guys are really hoping <laughs> that it's going to be good. Yeah, we do. You know, we hope it's going to be good. If you, now, I'm, I'm not one of those guys that don't care about how you're feeling. I, I want you to feel good. Uh, I, if I haven't, if I am, um, this me, if I have not pleased you, then I'm not pleased. And how, how can you have a happy home or a happy girlfriend or uh, if you're not pleasing her? Because what's going to happen is she's going to get tired and she's going to go elsewhere. And you don't want that if you really care about that person. So, if you set out in the beginning, the beginning, that's the relationship or the going out dating, everything leads up to that moment. What you do. Flowers. Door opening. First kiss. If you kiss and your face is up in your lips all up in here, no, she ain't going to kiss you. And pretty much, I've talked to a lot of women that do not like to kiss. Really? Yes. And you want to know why? Why? Because they've had bad kissers. So they stop. Wow. Yes. They stop. I, I, I tell you what. Put that poll, that question on Facebook and see how many women respond to that. Hmm. Because I've talked to a lot of women that do not like to kiss because they've had bad kisses and then when they get one that does know that does know how to kiss then it's it's, it's like wow for real you understand what i'm saying wow okay i uh, i never yeah. stopped liking it well that's because you probably never had somebody that slobbed on your face or spit in your mouth i've heard some stories X so somebody series. just literally spit in somebody's mouth. Not saying that they were trying to, but if you don't know how to kiss, 
you think you're doing what you just like going down. If you don't know what you're doing down there, what? You making me want to throw up a little bit. Well, I'm just being honest with you. I've and this is coming from other women that I've talked to in my in my lifetime. Okay. Well, especially having sex. Put that on the poll. Put that as a question too. Okay. While you're having sex, how many women actually enjoy kissing their man or the guy that they're doing it with or the guy that they decide to give it to? How many of them actually kissing? Because you know, in the process of kissing while you're making love or growing or whatever you want to call it, that enheightens that moment. It does. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. But if you don't have that one element in that process, you're leaving. You're not really getting the full benefit of having getting where you need to be. I've kissed some women that I do not like kissing. Why do you kiss them? I don't want to hurt the feelings. So you do pity sex? I said kissing. Like, like, see, I see you. And you can tell everybody what you want to be called by. Xavier Fox here, still on the red carpet, represents X.